Morning. Evening all. Hey, good morning, everyone. Morning all. How's uh how's things? Hello, how are you doing, James? Yeah, good thanks. How are you all doing? Pretty good. I, I would say that what would you say kind of as a portion of the people in here who actually who actually really listen and who are in it just for the for the poet farming? I, think. <laughs> I, I was just talking to MX about that, that they, the farmers seem to have come out in full force with a new tactic. Yeah. I don't know, because they, they've been sitting in here for the hours after some of them. So oh, no. I don't know. I'd say we got to at least have 40 or 50 people. <laughs> yeah, 50 out of the 58. <laughs> but it fills up sometimes like crazy, up to 150. I think we had, like me and Ali Card were saying, we, we had about 200 and like, nine or something at a peak um christ those uh, yeah. form, forms must have been tough to go through <laughs> yeah there's a lot of filtering yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> well that's the reason why we do the forms the way we do them right otherwise uh yeah it was, maybe it was, we, it was, it we, we like do like a roll call <laughs> yeah <laughs> yes everybody put up your hand if you want the poem yeah, one, one after the other, go in alphabetical. Go on then, oxygen, say hello. <laughs> Gosh. Um, Who knows, maybe there's some great discussion going on after we leave for hours on that. They're probably, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, probably yeah, more interested than what we have to say. Um, cool. Um, I don't know, has, any, has anyone got anything new, like info in the ecosystem about NFTs and, he- and anything hedgy specific that they've come across? Or any additional utility ideas? I mean, I tried to have a little scrape this morning um, and a little bit yesterday, but I couldn't couldn't find anything. I know the market's not great anyway with in NFT land, but Hedgy seem to be like holding their their value and and utility in that sense. But is there anything like new in the ecosystem where it would be worth exploring? Uh, a lot of the uh, the current NFT market now has shifted towards free mints. Right. Where all the all the new stuff that's coming out is just people doing free mints, and this gas has been so low uh, for for a while now, uh, at least on mainnet. So yeah, they're just promoting free mints and a lot of a, a lot of wild goblins, a lot of goblin stuff going on here. <laughs> yeah. Um, in the NFT <laughs> land, but uh, yeah, I think that's uh, that's mainly it. Just free mints. Uh, a, a lot of the NFT projects are. Are much quieter than than in here, and a lot of them have lost a lot of value in their floors. So Hedgies, at least, it's, it seems to be holding pretty well. Yeah, I agree. Good to hear. Um, yeah, is it? I think the well, last time I mentioned, I was actually speaking to this guy called uh, who who is has this kind of no code NFT like. Um, he built a no-code gallery for our hedgies for like the top 50 rarity ones. And I think you could then personalize it for your own hedgie as well. I'll have a look where that is. Um, and I had an email from them this week. So if that's sorted, then I'll, I'll post it in the channels and, and people can can jump into a kind of like metaverse live gallery for them. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Hmm. Excited for that. Um, Andy, do you want to touch on anything, or do you want to save that, uh, save it for when you post it? Uh, yeah, I, I can say that. I I'm doing like a DRC proposal to formalize this uh, this lens collaboration. I want to 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 pass through, and I'm really I'm really happy about it. Uh, I don't know how to how to push forward this collaboration, so I'm just going to to open a poll to to everybody here in the community who uh, could show uh, if they are interested in this. So you can make this can maybe attract attention of of James and maybe other or or less community to to give give us access to early access to the lens protocol. I think when when I you know when I upload the the 
stress on Commonwealth, you will see all the all the potential benefits of, of this collaboration. I think you will like it. Yeah, I think it's really good. I'm excited for it. And when's awesome. that when's that being post posted, Andy? I wanted to do it today before the before this huddle to you know to to get every to get every everybody after this is having to the Commonwealth to to vote for it. But I I don't wanna rush because I have to just two little things to you know to to write it better. But I think tomorrow it would be ready. Sweet. Awesome. Yeah looking forward yeah. to it. curious how how easy was it to, to set up your, your lens profile? Very, very easy. Look, uh, you know, for example, last last co community on uh, NFT community that got access to to this early access to lens protocol was Puli NFT. You know about Puli NFT is like an NFT project uh, uh, pulled together NFT project to to yeah. a crowdfund to you know to to pay for the legal fees of. Of the you know of this, of their trial, and everybody who who bought this NFT who minted got early access. So I I have one profile, uh, and I have another one because I because they they gave access to the uh, developer DAO NFT. Uh, holders to the fully NFT holder, I think to Avegochi too, uh, and to Brazen. So maybe we can get it too and, and be the, the, I think the sixth project who get access to this. I think we are in a very good position because you now DYDX is, a, is, I think it's a blue chip. Right? It's you know, like famous and, and, big, and other two and it could be, could be good. But I don't know how to, you know, maybe James have to do it. You no, know, uh, don't know how to, you know, attract the attention of Lens Protocol and our team. Yeah, for sure. I mean, just yeah, DM me after this, Andy, and we, and we can chat chat about it. Or tomorrow, your time, because I know it's late night for you. Um, cool. We can definitely. One of the yeah, one of the things that is very interesting is that the 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 Lens handle. It's like an uh, ENS domain. I mean, it's unique. So it's very interesting for us to get early access because early, early access people choose their their name, you know. And and if you join like two months later and your name is already picked, you you cannot, you know, you cannot. It and you have to maybe try a, a longer name. So it's, we have to be quick, I think. Yeah, makes sense. Are they they're not integrating with ENS. You just have to create your own name. Uh, you can you can put your ENS domain in your bio. All oh, right. But this is this, this is different. This is a, like a dot lens. I mean, I'm Andy GG dot lens. Gotcha. So they're doing their own uh, sort of like a Twitter handle in a way. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like the Twitter is exactly the same, and um, mm -hmm. and I'm using now Lenster, which is like the copycat or oh, not copycat the the version of the decentralized version of Twitter built on top of Lens. It's called Lenster, um, and it's very good. To do. But it's uh, also. A Go ahead. Go, go ahead. I was going to say they should they should make it so uh, they reserve ENS names specifically for the same ENS holders, or like the, the, the same name for the ENS holders that already exist. That would avoid some conflicts, but... Uh, Don't know. Uh, for now, you cannot uh, mint any name with just three or four letters. The minimum is five. I think uh, they're not, they're not like... They're they're reserving this because you know the three letters name and four letters names are like 
the the ones that you want to meet because then you can sell it if, if you don't like the name or or another person wants that name and make and you know they give they he can give you like good money for it you can sell it you can already buy a um, uh, lens handle on OpenSea is very fine but the names are the names suck no very, very, oh no! I saw some very some, long names. Someone open to going for like two or three ETH already. I mean, it's typical, isn't it? Like, what's the what are they trying to achieve? Is this supposed to be like the 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 next like decentralized Facebook type thing? Like, what, what's it take? What is it aiming to be? This is aiming to be the biggest thing. I mean, lens protocol is the base layer. So if if you have a lens handle, you can now. I have a you a profile on Leinster that is like Twitter, all right. But and and you have you are following like a hundred people, and you have a following of a thousand people, and now you wanna start a community on YouTube on Lens, which is called Lens Tube. Okay, so instead of building again all your community, all your following, and follow again all the people you follow on Twitter. It's already done. I mean, this is like the last profile for for a social media that you ever gonna meet. This is gonna be your profile for every social media. They are they are going to build uh, Lenster is Twitter, uh, Lens Tube, YouTube. Uh, I mean, Lens Discord, Lens Lens everything. You know. And it's also great because it's all it's all decentralized. So you own all the content that you put out there. Um, and you can choose to monetize it should should you want to. That's that's the crazy part. I mean, that's the, the central part that the the content creator owns their content, their, their content, and and of course, if they introduce ads here, which I think they are going to do, well, like a hundred percent of the ad revenue is going to go for the for the content creator for the post. For, for the the person who posted a video, a song, whatever, and you can you can like set up a amount of money that you want to you know to to get for a follow for a follow. So if if I you know a content creator, I want to set up like 10, 10 USDC. Is the price for you to follow me? It's like a super follow, you know. It's like Patreon, you know, Patreon, the, the social media. Yeah. The possibilities are endless. It's like subscription models from when you follow someone and, and then you get access to their content that way. It's a it's optional, but yeah. And another feature that is very very interesting is the collect feature so as you are the the owner of your content you can post a comment a video whatever and you can set up for example i want this post to only be collected by five people and i want each people to pay like a hundred usdc for for each nft so you click collect and you're meeting an nft of that post and Maybe the owner says, okay, I'm gonna share the revenue of this collection between all people that is following me or all people that retweeted this post. So you're like paying people for retweeting your post to get your post amplified and, and people are going to retweet it because they know that you set up a share revenue of of that collection so you are in you are very interested in share that post to that post to get collected and then get the you know the share of the revenue of that collection it makes a lot of sense uh and the earlier you are to reach sharing the post if you think it's going to do good uh then the more you stand to earn as well so that's good it's great. I, I think an interesting uh, 
like area to, to look at for this is in the future if the Hedges community does have um, a lens profile and th this is just all hypothetical, right? And if we do decide to, let's say, release content there and reward people that are retweeting or active active subscribers with with the ad revenue, how cool would that be if, let's say, Hedges posts uh, a video, right? People retweet it, that video gets some ad revenue, and then those people in return um, get, a, get a share of the profit from what the, what that video is doing. That that I think would be would be very very cool. But you know what? I'm I'm very angry because three days ago, uh, you know, a very bad person minted uh, hedges dot lens. So so maybe uh, I I like uh, talk with him, but he didn't answer. So, so I, well, someone I, like, someone. Posted. What, someone claimed hedgies.lens? Yeah. What? Yeah, That's I, crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe because I started uh, the community, you know, I started the hedgie community. I, 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 I clicked new community, I started it, and I'm, I'm like uh, copying all, all the tweets that the official hedgies is doing on Twitter. So maybe that like got his attention and he mean to the hedges dot lens. But we can mean like the same of, of Twitter, like official hedges or hedges yeah. official. Yeah. Or maybe we can buy buy him the, the profile if he, <laughs> he won't sell for like, like ten mil. <laughs> Yeah, I remember ENS putting out a report like if you hold uh, certain names from real companies, just please sell them as people are holding out. Like the NBA ha is trying to get one and they won't sell it to them. Yeah. <laughs> Squat is right. Uh, that's funny. Yeah. If, if, if we do want to reserve any names, I, I have a couple uh, pull-ups that, that grant me permissions to, to mint Lens Profile. I haven't had a chance to yet, but... I have I have two, so I might do one for myself, and then if there's any names we want to reserve, let's not say it out loud now, but maybe DM me. Okay, good idea. <laughs> Sounds good. Just quickly, everyone, if wh whoever is here for a PO-op, i.e. 148 of the 152, <laughs> cl cl click the PO-op claim form there. There is a secret word, it's Panda. It will be removed in two minutes, so get onto those Google Docs quick. Um, it will be removed in two minutes. So, claim your power. Where, where, where is the the, the link? In he hedges, it's under hedges, hedges general. general. Yeah, under hedges general. I'm waiting for Looking as well as soon as soon as it's gone. I'm waiting for Mo's <laughs> classic GIF post as soon as we put gone. Um, yeah, he always puts the same one in every time. <laughs> oh man, I, I'm scrambling now to get it, to get this in. Too much talking now, not paying oh, attention to the to the chat. Um, I guess in in, a, in another combo, do we want to kind of like touch on while well, there's a few people in here? Do we want to touch on like the bounties? I don't know if NT or yeah. anyone wants to bring yeah talk about that. Yeah, so uh, I got one. Um, okay, go, Ali Card. <laughs> Sorry. Keep You're interrupting good. you. Um, I got one. I'm just excited about it because it has to do with hedges. Um, where we have a couple of bounties up for creating translations for the hedges info page on different languages, so that uh, yeah, we can have it uh, have all the information for every everyone across the the globe to to join hedges as well. So there's a few bounties for that. Um, there's a format. Uh, on, on how we want the, the translations formatted. Uh, you would have to talk with Upload on that uh, once you claim the bounty or try to try to move forward with the bounty. Uh, upload will, you'll, you'll be in the chat with him and then he can send you the, uh, the format for those translations. And, and yeah, that's good. And we'll have hedges in different languages on, on the info page. One bounty that we're going to be posting uh, probably today is Pope creation for future hedgy huddles. So if, you, if you're an artist and 
you're thinking, I could be making popes right now. Uh, this is your chance to get involved. And if you don't know where the bounty board is, there's a specific channel called uh, Bounties. It has a little trophy symbol next to it. So head over there. It'll take you to uh, Dwork. That's the website we use. And you can find all the bounties sorted uh, based on different boroughs there. Yeah, and uh, to echo what he said, we also have governance has a Commonwealth pull-up and an on-chain and off-chain pull-up, which would be two separate ones. So three total pull-ups plus that one. Um, someone come in and scoop some of those up. And uh, you can just claim it and submit your work. And then it's pretty easy going because we can just work with each other and uh, just come up with a viewpoint together on the final product. And there's also a script to parse uh, IPFS snapshots. So we want to be able to just look through addresses in the snapshots or look up specific addresses. So that's posted. I have two applicants and then you guys can still apply and do that. Uh, I'm not sure the progress, honestly. I'm working on updates. And furthermore, we have two that are actually completed. So shout out to Anna Loves Cats. She, she or he, I'm not entirely sure. Um, did a Commonwealth weekly update, which that's going to be a recurring task. Uh, you guys can go check that out in the forums and should be pump them out, pumping them out every week. And uh, she also did a, a translation of DRC from English to Russian. And that's on the Grants Committee post as well, if you want to check that out. So or if you want to, the Russian community knows, but if anyone wants to uh, check that out, uh, go in there. And we're, I'm in the process of working on, well, we are in the process of working on more bounties, but I'm really impressed with uh, how it's gone so far. Awesome. Really glad to hear. And shout out to Anna Love Cats. Um, uh, you know, she or he is someone who's always in these huddles and uh, around in the community. So your contributions don't go unnoticed. And uh, yeah, thanks for, for taking part in the governance. Yep. Um, cool. Anything, anything like any ideas for sort of like future bounties related, especially as we kind of like it opening up to sort of like DYDX rewards, I guess like how, how is it just going to be more sort of like time and complexity and quality specific tasks that people will apply to when that comes into play? Um, can, can you uh, we're gonna, that? I, I would say that we're looking for what adds value. So we're not just going to do any random values. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I mean, so, yeah, I mean, like, to be 100% honest, I'm not really sure what we're looking for yet. But I'm trying to find bounties that aren't just trying to spend money, right? But like he said, add a value there. But um, we kind of figured out as we go, especially with the weekly update and then issuing po-ops for maybe retroactive governance participation within the weekly updates, things of that nature. So we're kind of combining things, but I don't know. I'm bit, I've been looking into some other bounty boards and seeing what some other protocols are doing and some ideas are coming up, but I'm not totally sure how to implement it for what we're doing, I guess. Because I don't want to like offload busy work. I want to add value. It's, I don't know. I'm working on it. Yeah. Sounds good. That's exciting. And keep, and keep in mind a lot of the bounties can and uh, will have pull-ups uh, attached to them as rewards. Ours already do have uh, the pull-ups. Yeah, yours already do. I, I just linked it so everybody can see the uh, the first uh, governance borough bounty pull-up that was, uh, that was created. Oh, yeah, Anna Loves Cats got one and two. No, she, she got both. Uh, yeah, it's a hot competition. That's <laughs> listening, you know. <laughs> That's super cool. There, there's rooms there, and awesome. I just like out of my own interest as well. So these bounties that are posted on D work right now, and obviously it says locked, and there's one applicant. Essentially, they apply, and then what? Like, have the reasoning behind why they can complete it to an effective manner. Like, how does that? How does it work? Yeah, so for the application ones, they uh, did. I see the one you're looking at. Dinash applied, and I messaged him, but I'm not really sure where we're going with that yet. Mm. I'm not sure if he's in here. Um, so that's kind of why I didn't assign yet. But yeah, you would apply, and then they can add a comment. And uh, and then uh, actually, what I was going to ask you, I used to have access to the bounties when someone claims it in the in the threads here. It, do we not want to do that anymore? Because I can't message them through Discord thread. I have to add them and do dms what the in dwork task application applicant yeah so 
Yeah, I think I'm on on Discord, but when you click bounties and then you can go through and like see the individual threads. Yeah. I was able to message at the start and now I can. I don't know if that was changed for mm. a reason. That's weird. You um, gotta go up, up upward to the channels in the channel called the the word task applicants and, and that's where the threads are. It's above it, it's above stats. Above stats. On Discord. Yeah, yeah. You should be able to it should just be for for like for ambassadors, CMs. On oh, our... I've got it now. Yeah. So, oh, that's my bad because I just clicked bounties and then started assuming. Yeah, that yeah, that. yeah. That 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 one started. You you would assume that did, but it's actually just. We should probably relabel that internally, so it's a little bit more clear. Thank you. Um, but uh, yeah, those were all the. That's where all those threads are for anybody that applies and. Uh, for for context for everybody that's listening, when when you apply for for a bounty it creates a private thread between the ambassadors and yourself. And, and so you're, you're able to talk directly with them and they're able to talk directly with you. Nobody else can see that thread. It's just uh, uh, you and, and the respective ambassadors. But uh, yeah. Okay, thank you, Alicard. Sweet, that's super cool. Um, anything else that we wanted to, to chat about or bring up? Yeah, uh, we have looking uh, for endorsed delegates, community members. Step up. Exactly, step up. Ones that That's are. Right. Can you can you outline what the what the requirements are to become an endorsed delegate from the community? Stand on mine. I will be uh, updating the uh, the WDX demo info page with the steps, and everybody can follow those steps in there. It will be super clear. Because right now it's a bit confusing, because uh, they're not really, you know, you, you gotta post some message in Commonwealth, and, and then you also gotta post some message in Discord. And it, it's actually pretty simple. Um, there's a profile and pitch template, and you need to fill that out the Google Doc, and then you need to post it in Commonwealth, and then also you should post in the uh, endorsed delegates channel and the Discord, and then there's also um, a self assessment that needs to be filled out. And those are really the only two documents that are required. Okay, awesome. As long as it's all clear for, for the community on where to go and what steps to take, we're yeah. in good shape. Um, I'll make sure that gets documented in, in the next uh, couple of days here, and then I'll, I'll link it out on the uh, gen chat. And we'll be able to you're the update. best. <laughs> Sweet. Oh, man. And just, just checking, the uh, I just got a few the few questions in Hedges general. I actually don't, the dwork task applicants, I actually don't think it is, it, it's private and I don't think it necessarily needs to be. Like, I think people should be able to see potentially who, who's applied and what skills they have to apply. Is that is that right, Alucard? Right now, it's it's open to everyone. No, it, it, no, it, it is private. Right. Uh, you can see to, to the right of it that right. the only people in those threads are and, but um, the, at, at, least, at, at least for the Discord threads. I think in the actual bounty, you can yeah. perhaps see who has applied and then those comments, mm -hmm. that's public. Right. right. That but but also, also, I can add to that. Um, the governance bureau will be creating a spreadsheet of all competitive bounties and by who and skill set and all that. So it'll all be transparent, public. Love it. Love it. And then on uh, DWORK specifically, has it got like a... I know Mirash, I think I remember you saying something last time, like has it got like a leaderboard of who creates or like who claims the most bounties over time or is that not the case? I might just be making that up. Yes, so so there is a leaderboard. I think, I don't know that we've been doing this for the bounty so far and I think we should. I don't know if you can do this uh, after the fact, uh, but you can assign a points to people that complete bounties um, right, so it's it's all arbitrary. So I think that's on the ambassadors to come up with a, a point system. And uh, are we are we going in the thousands of points? Are we going in the tens? <laughs> right. Uh, yeah. it, it all depends on how much effort is required for a task. And then once you complete the task, once you've been assigned and complete a task on D work, you will show up on the leaderboard. So over time, it, let's say if Anna loves cats, keeps completing uh, tons of governance bounties, she keeps racking up points. Um, she will be, or he or she will be number one um, on that leaderboard. 
And I, I don't think anything comes of that on DWORD, but it's good for the community to see who the best contributors are and who's actually putting a lot of time into making DYDX the best it can be. Makes sense. Sounds like good. Cool. All right. Uh, anything else? The, the, yeah, I got one last thing. Uh, we are planning a edgy event at uh, on the 18 for uh, Gather Town. Gather Town with Hedgies. Sweet. Uh, so that'll be open for Hedgies holders and it, just to hang around in, in Gather Town, get everybody familiar with the custom space that has been created at Gather Town, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, and yeah. And link, link to that? Yeah, there'll be an event. There'll be an event and there'll be the link for that will be sent in the uh, Hedges holder channel. Right, thank you. Looking forward to that one. Um, hopefully get a, a good amount of Hedges in there and get some uh, more events planned in a more sort of like frequent manner going forward. Um, I think that we'll all, we can all work together there and, and get those organised. And if any Hedges have got any specific ideas on, on events that they may want organised, then, then open to hear that. Cool. All right. Great. Well, look, we'll close this off. Thanks again for everyone for tuning in, and we will um, we'll catch up next week. Good turnout as well. Okay. 150. Cool. <laughs> Lots of parts. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Great. Thanks all. Thanks everybody. Take care. Bye bye.